The confirmed launch day of the brand new MacBook Air 15 inch looks like it's finally been revealed and it doesn't look like it's that far away to be fair. I want to tell you all the details about this new 15 inch MacBook with its specs, design and of course the MacBook Air 15 inch release date and price. But first a bit of background knowledge of the MacBook Air. The MacBook Air was first announced in 2008 with Steve Jobs showing off the first generation. What made this notebook or laptop or MacBook unique was its form factor and essentially it kicked off the Ultrabook era for the last 12 years or so. Steve Jobs showed this small form factor by just pulling the MacBook Air out of a brown paper envelope to show how small and thin it really was. The screen size was and is still today a 13 inch display. The design wasn't perfect and caused some technical issues but since then we've had an updated design in 2010 where the MacBook Air really took hold with a lot of users realising if you just wanted a MacBook for everyday tasks then this was the model to buy. Apple introduced a 11 inch model as well at this time. In 2018 though, we got the third generation MacBook Air what added such features like a retina display, touch ID and an even thinner design but the 11 inch model was gone. Then in 2020 the Apple M1 silicon chipset was added to the MacBook Air and was the first MacBook Air to be fanless and still remains today as the only MacBook to be like this inside the current lineup. So last year in 2022 we got the new M2 MacBook Air with a brand new design with an M2 chipset and returning features like the MagSafe connector. But there is great news again as we've been told that a larger 15 inch MacBook is now on its way. One thing that hasn't been 100% confirmed if this will be called the 15 inch MacBook or the 15 inch MacBook Air. But for these videos, until it's 100% confirmed, I'll be calling this the 15 inch MacBook Air. So Mark Gurman has been at it again with his latest reports and we have a new one here for the 15 inch MacBook Air and he has told us that he has seen basically leaks showing that it looks like the 15 inch MacBook Air will be indeed having an M2 chipset inside it because he's basically seen specs that are very similar to it and it does look like it is going to be coming out at WWDC 2023 but when you think about it it's only a month and a half away. But one other thing that comes to mind with this news with that new larger MacBook Air is will it have a fan inside to keep that M2 cool? As we already know if you fully stress a M2 MacBook Air with 4 or 8K video then it does start to throttle. So the question remains unclear is how Apple will keep the brand new MacBook Air this larger model and how it will remain cool. But this also leads me on nicely to say that not all reports and leaks are 100% proof that they will come true with the new MacBook Air. I can only present you what I know I'm being told and shown. However, if you are still watching this video, then you're as curious as I am in knowing what is being said about the new MacBook Air anyway. So last year's WWDC kickstarted the M2 journey and we had quite a few Macs getting the M2 chipset and now we have the likes of the M2 Pro and we also have the M2 Max. However, we've had a report saying that the larger MacBook is coming in 2023 where some are claiming production will start at the early end of 2023 ready for the spring event but others are saying that the M2 MacBook Air Max could be coming in summer like at WWDC 2023. For the official date of an event of when the MacBook Air will be in our hands it's a little too early to say at this point but everything is still pointing towards spring or summer this year. We've got to remember that Apple are now updating all their M1 devices to the M2 chipset and this is a MacBook that I want to put the same chipset inside the M2. But in my own personal opinion at the time of making this video I think that the MacBook Air might arrive at WWDC 2023 because Apple will want to continue on their journey with the M3 next and not really talk too much about the M2 chipset because I want that out of the way and this is targeted towards this MacBook. So then guys, just quickly, this channel recently got over half a million subscribers, what is absolutely amazing. And you can check out the video on my channel to see who won those prizes. But we're doing another giveaway now, and this giveaway is going to be happening around a sort of mid-June time, some point after WWDC. And at this giveaway this time, guys, I'm going to be giving away 
three prizes. The first two prizes are runner-up prizes, and that are some AirPods 2, and also I'm gonna be giving away some AirPods 3 as well, what's absolutely amazing. Then the main prize I'm gonna be giving away to one lucky subscriber is one of these. It is an iPhone 13 Pro Max in the silver white color, and I'm gonna be giving this away to one lucky subscriber. And all you need to do to enter in is basically put your opinion in the comment below of the report of this video, or tell me what Apple technology gear you're planning to buy or hopeful to get in 2023. As I already said, guys, the giveaway is happening in June time. So if you're brand new to this channel, make sure you subscribe to this channel and also hit that notification bell because you'll want to get that notification of when that giveaway is happening in June time. So make sure you do that right now. Now, something else I just want to quickly say, there are lots of imposters out there, a lot of them faking to be me, telling you that you've won yourself like an iPhone or another prize. And basically these people are telling you to part with some of your money to pay for shipping. This is not me at all. If you get a WhatsApp or Telegram or be told to send one of these messages, make sure you do not do it. This giveaway that I am doing is an international giveaway and I'll be paying for the postage, taxes and all of that. So if you do get a message to say that you've won an iPhone, for example, Example, and basically you need to pay for the shipping, please do report it here on YouTube. All you have to do is click on the comments and basically click report and YouTube will do the rest. Just make sure you do not part with any of your money to these scammers out there. So to summarize again, all you need to do is comment on as many videos that I create out there to enter in and also at the same time, make sure you subscribe to the channel and also hit that notification bell to be in the chance to win one of these free prizes. And with that guys, it's back to the video. So then, let's move on and do a summary of what the MacBook Air Max is going to give us and also the price. So the new MacBook Air Max, the biggest feature and the biggest change about this MacBook is that it's going to have a 15 inch display or specifically it's going to have that 15.4 inch display. This is the display that we used to have on MacBook Pros for example all the way up to when we got the 16 inch MacBook Pro and this will be an LED retina display with a resolution of 2880 by 1800. Now you might have noticed this is not a mini LED display and also it's not going to be a pro motion display. Remember this sits underneath the MacBook Pro so it's not going to get that better screen inside it but still that LED retina display is still amazing just like what we have on the normal 13 inch MacBook Pro and also that new MacBook Air M2. That display is really really crisp. But for storage we'll be getting a choice between 256 gigabytes all the way up to 2 terabytes of storage and then inside it we'll get the choice of that M2 chipset what will be that 8 core CPU and all the way up to that 10 core GPU. It's quite likely that that 8 core binned GPU option will also be available for the MacBook Air Max. Then for RAM, you'll have the choice of 8 gigabytes, 16 gigabytes, or 24 gigabytes of RAM. It will be an aluminium body design, similar to what we have with like the MacBook Air right now, that new design, but it will obviously be larger, and it will have a MagSafe connector and two USB-C Thunderbolt 4 ports on the side. That new design again will have some new colors. We'll have that new midnight color, but we'll also still be getting that silver, space gray, and gold option and then we'll probably be getting an actual notch design and that will have a center stage webcam and that will be a 1080p camera and the battery life on this macbook air will probably be up to 22 hours because of that m2 chipset and the larger body frame it can retain an actual larger battery the price will start with an 8 gigabytes of ram option with 256 gigabytes of storage would cost 1299 dollars then 512 gigabytes gigabytes at 1549 US dollars, 1 terabyte 1899 and then 2 terabytes at 2249 US dollars. So that is a spec summary for the new MacBook. But my wishes for this new MacBook is to do with the colours. I am hoping that Apple will keep rolling out that midnight black colour that we've got on the new M2 MacBook Air and for it to come on other MacBooks like this one. 
I'd love to have the ability to buy a Midnight, Silver or Gold or Space Grey MacBook Air Max when it comes out. But those are my thoughts and my current wish for the MacBook Air. However, let me know your thoughts if you agree with this and also write in the comments below of what your wishes are for the new MacBook large one that's coming out in 2023. Well guys on that note it's time to wrap up this video so if you have enjoyed watching this video please make sure you like it and at the same time if you want to hear the latest Apple news reviews and comparisons please make sure you hit the subscribe button followed by the notification bell. Until next time guys I will see you really soon. Bye bye.